Are we recording? Mm -hmm. So guys, I just got off the phone with my, one of my you know, SMA buddies. He's an agency owner as well. And we're actually talking about the current, you know, the, the current agency SMA landscape. And uh, one of the things that we were talking about is why is it that we see, you know, wh why is it that there are people killing it with SMA? And also why, why is it that the vast majority of people with, you know, similar access to, you know, with access to similar information, you know, bear, bear in mind, um, you know, some people may have invested into, you know, mentorship, guy, you know, coaching programs, whatever it is. But essentially, why are people that have consumed the same content, consumed the exact same, you know, gotten the, the exact same tips, hacks, etc., etc., get, you know, amazing results? And why do some people just completely, um, you know, just just completely fail at it and, and never get any real results. Why is there that discrepancy? And uh, that actually got me thinking quite a lot. I've been thinking about this for a while now and really taking it a step further and, and thinking, you know, bigger picture, why are there people in life that just kill it and getting quite more results? Uh, you know, we can take a look at, you know, someone like Kobe Bryant even, um, who, you know, sadly passed away. Why, why is it that he built such an incredible legacy uh, just you know, at the age of I think it was, he was uh, 41 when he passed away. Uh, why is it that he's remembered by you know hundreds of thousands of people, and he built an incredible legacy and achieved so much? And why is it that some people just you know haven't really done much with their life, right? I haven't given that question uh, as much thought, but really, when it comes to uh, when it came to SMA, I boiled it down to three main reasons, and that's what I want to share, uh, share with you guys in this video. I want to share with you those three reasons. Now, the first reason comes down to patience. I see so many entrepreneurs, not even just the, the social media marketing agency space, but so many entrepreneurs get into different financial vehicles. And the one thing that they struggle with is patience. They, they you know, maybe they've been sold an idea which is just not, um, it, it's not rooted in the truth. And, you know, unfortunately, a lot of, you know, figures out there uh, try to sell this idea that you can get rich quick. Uh, and that's just, you know, that's very, very difficult. Yes, you can, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in speeding your way up to success and, and really cutting that that learning curve by a hundred and, and that's really what i've done right i've i've you know sought out incredible mentors in, you know i bought out uh, you know i bought a ton of courses invested a, a ton of my of the, the money that i made uh, that i made initially and i invested all that into my into myself into personal development into really you know making you know making the the vessel go much faster and and so i truly truly believe that you can speed your way to success but you still got to put in the work and no one is gonna you know no one's gonna be able to take that away from you right and i see a lot of people get into sma and expect their you know first line in 15 days uh, even 30 days and bear in mind that has happened i've seen you know even students of mine i've seen them you know land um you know land land their first clients in 30 days uh even 20 days uh but the vast majority of people it'll be you know two uh, two months three months and that doesn't mean that you're you know that that doesn't mean there's something wrong with you especially when you're just starting out yes you have to iterate constantly and yes you have to put, put in the work but as long as you put in the work and making marginal gains and getting you know consistently getting better like you just have to put in the work and, and give it some time right um and yes, you know, if, if you're if you if you're doing the exact same thing, if you're making this, the exact same mistakes over and over again for a period of, of three months and you're not seeing results, that's a problem. But if you're constantly iterating and, and you're constantly getting better and applying stuff that even, you know, that, that for example, you guys learn in this channel, you're going to, you know, you're going to get results. You're going to land those, you know, first lines. And it's funny because a lot of the people that I started as me with, um, you know, a, a few years ago now, the reason why I've been more successful than them, uh, even though they might have gotten a better start, is because I was able to put my head down for a, a lot longer. And so when they got a bit discouraged, you know, maybe the, the, they signed the first line much earlier uh, on them than I did, but maybe they went for a dry spell, or maybe they just, you know, stayed on the same level, signing the, the same type of clients. Uh, and so I just knew that if I put in more work than them, I could just outwork them and results will eventually come. So that's what I want you to keep in mind if you're doing SMA, if you're starting, you know, if you're getting your foot through the door in SMA. Make sure you put your back against the wall, but make sure that if you're not signing clients in the first 30 days, your life doesn't go to just complete shit, right? Uh, and you don't ruin your life. Put your back against the wall in many other facets, many other areas, but, you know, make sure that you give yourself time to have success. And so that is the first thing. The second thing is shiny object syndrome. And I see, and I, honestly, I see this so much. And not only do I see it in the micro, in SMA, but also in the macro level. And so what I see a lot of um, you know, agency owners do is they'll pick a service, right? Or they'll pick a niche. 
and they'll you know do that that niche offer that service for a month um, uh, uh, two months and then all of a sudden the fact that they're not getting clients they'll blame on the niche instead of just taking through the niche you know making you know just constantly iterating constantly improving that you know the, their knowledge on the niche constantly getting better and better and better and and being able to add more value uh, to the clients in that niche which is really what happens when you stick with the niche and and you constantly improve and make marginal gains what they do instead is they'll do that niche for a month then they'll blame the fact that they're not getting clients on that niche and then they'll jump on another niche and so you never give yourself enough time to have you know incredible success with the niche that you picked if i had done that for example if i had done that in my personal experience with e-commerce i would have you know i would have probably you know quit e-commerce you know three months into my journey or two months even uh, simply because you know when you're not getting results and, and and this is what happened when you know when i started sma i didn't get results instantly then i had you know as you guys know uh, as, as some of you know i had on, on that seven eight month that's where i really you know took my agency to the next level um but if i had you know had that mindset when i started i would have quit sma very you know very very soon into my journey um and and the funny thing is when you're not getting results when you when you go for two to three months without signing a client your mind goes into dark places uh you start blaming the you know the niche uh, you start questioning whether you know e-commerce is is much more difficult than local businesses or is it even the right one or why 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 did i pick this if i know that the service delivery is uh, hard to to do uh, you, you know all this stuff right and the funny thing is all niches have pros and cons and so your mind will fixate on the cons and will it will try to get you to jump to another niche to jump to another service and that's where you really need to stay strong and stick with it that decision will really carry you forward and that little thing that you know making making sure you stick with your service making sure you stick with the niche that you picked at first it's gonna it's really gonna give you a massive edge over competitors over other people starting sma now am i saying that you should stick with a niche even though you hate it or or uh, even though you just know that that's not the right niche and you just pick the wrong niche no i'm not saying that right it's 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 a lot more nuanced than that but i think you guys get the point the you know the main reasons why people uh niche hop and, and service hop is not because uh it's it's actually you know the it's actually the wrong niche it's more because they think they have this shiny object syndrome and they think the next the next niche is going to be the right one for them and that that is that is really the micro on the macro level um i see a lot of people you know they get into sma they try a bunch of stuff they niche hop they they service hop uh, and then nothing you know nothing will work because they're not putting in the work or they're not iterating or um they don't they just don't have the patience and then they think that the business model doesn't work uh, and they think sma is just a fad or, or or something that it's much harder to get results in than you know drop shipping amazon fba uh crypto you know day trading whatever it is right and that is just not the case people that do that never have true success with anything they keep going from one thing to the next and they never give themselves enough time to truly master that one thing to truly build rock solid foundations that they can build a, a huge monster a huge um a skyscraper on and so that is the second thing the shiny object syndrome avoid that at all costs and you'll be so much you know so much more ahead than your competition the third thing is guidance and this is more of a, a nuanced topic but i see a lot of people following the the advice of people that haven't really done it and haven't been in the trenches or haven't really taken their agency or whatever business model it is um, haven't really been in the trenches and haven't been been truly truly successful with that look i'm not saying that you you know the the guru or the mentor that you look up to or you know the you know someone's mentorship that you invest in uh, you know that mentor has to be a billionaire or a trillionaire right i'm not i'm not really saying that in fact if a mentor you know is two steps ahead three steps ahead that already has value to you but that value you know the, the value really depends on the impact that they can have on your life but that you know i, I digress because it's not really even that case it's, it's just people listening to the advice of people on youtube or or just the pe or just people who haven't really made it uh, who are selling an idea that they have and so what i can tell you is listening to the right people uh, and listening to people that have you know been there that that share a, you know common beliefs uh, as you do or or that you know have a lifestyle that you want to attain those are the people that you should be listening to people that provide a ton of value even for free right those are the people that you should be listening to and really the you know the people that you listen to it's really going to play a huge role in the success of you as, a, as an entrepreneur as a young entrepreneur as a you know as a person really in life right that, that is one mistake that i see people make uh, not listening to the right people and the second mistake really is that they listen to too many people they have like 10 people that they listen to for health advice they have you know 20 people that they listen to for 
um, I don't know, like, you know, gym advice. They have like 30 different gurus on entrepreneurs that they listen to for marketing, um, you know, tips and an SMA, you know, an SMA guru, uh, a Facebook ad, you know, a Facebook ads guru, uh, an Amazon FBA guru, and just so many people, so much noise. What you have to do is really narrow down your focus to one, two, three people max, you know, ideally in different areas of your life that you want to optimize and, and you want to maximize and, and then just listen to those people, do whatever they tell you to do and uh, just put your head down because that's the result you're going to get if you follow their advice. So those are the three reasons why I think 99% of, of entrepreneurs and, and, and people fail at SMA. Just to recap, first of all, we've got patience. Uh, just be patient, trust the process. Secondly, we've got shiny object syndrome. And thirdly, we've got guidance, listening to the right people and listening to the, the, the few but good people. And so those are the three main reasons. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm. Also, leave down below any comments, any questions uh, you may have on the video. I'll be checking those out. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got so much content coming out on SMA, entrepreneurship, uh, mindset, lifestyle even. And so if you want to check that out, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So much uh, stuff uh, coming out. So go ahead and check out my Instagram for daily stories. I've shown you a behind the scenes uh, what I get up to during my day, uh, how I actually run a business, and how I actually do what I preach. And lastly, guys, go ahead and check out the link in bio. That is a, a link to my free Facebook group community, The Client Closers. It's, it's a group of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. I've captured 100 people uh, and people are loving it so far. So if you want to lock in your spot, go ahead and check out the link in the bio. As always, guys, hope everything is going well in your agency journey and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.